So in this segment, we're taking a spreadsheet and now creating a dictionary. So there's a set of tools for Excel that are going to allow you to do this. Uh, export out XML. You do need the professional version of Excel, though the academic version does not support the XML output. Once you've created that new dictionary, you can then prepare it so it can be loaded uh, into a collection and used in the drag and drop manager. So these are the toolkit, the Excel dictionary tools that you can download from the CAM editor website. And then we have the text readme instructions that walk you through all the different steps. You're basically going to open the thing in Excel. Uh, you're going to paste in the components that you want and then uh, export those, uh, run the CAM editor, and uh, cre create the dictionary. So we're going to show you this in action. So here's the sample spreadsheet. And in here we have the element names of the components. And you can see in the, second, in the first column, uh, there's the source container. So these are like the parent uh, and, and children relationships. So you've got the validation office and the analyst that's doing the validation. You've got the requester, the requester information. So in Excel, in the professional version, you can uh, save this as XML data uh, and it will do the export. And so it'll give you the dialogue for that and that's because the spreadsheet that, that we have there is specially prepared to work with the professional version. Now the next step is you need to prepare that XML and reformat it in the XML that the dictionary will use. So there's this special CAM template here that matches the format that Excel has exported out. And what you're going to do is run this and give it as input the output from Excel so those those match and then after you've uh, run that in uh, it'll do a very simple validation check on it which of course it will pass and then what you want to do is transform the results into the actual format that uh, CAM uses for the dictionary and so we have this special XSL pre-done for that and you can do this um, now the output you need to make sure that the extension is .xml on the end of it and when you run that it's going to show you that in the viewer and so you can now save this as your output xml by the way if you don't have excel professional we do have a set of uh, similar macros that will work with open office and so now we've saved that XML, and you can see that here we've created that new dictionary with the components in it. If we just quickly open that in the notepad, you can see uh, that it's created those components and those relationships from the spreadsheet. And so then the last step is to prepare this for use in the uh, collection manager. So what you're going to do is go ahead and compile this dictionary. And what that does is it allows you to sort the components. So um, go ahead and pick the dictionary that you want. That's the new dictionary we just created. Um, go ahead and provide the compiled name that you want. It will automatically, when you open the dialog, put the word compiled on the end of it. Uh, and then just click that you want it sorted and click OK and there we go it's uh, generated it and now you can go ahead and add that into your collection for use in the drag and drop and this is just giving you some uh, statistics on the, the processing of the dictionary